Hey you guys, how's it going? It is Clary Berry and I'm here today to bring to you the Bitcoin horoscope here, the astrological prediction for Bitcoin cryptocurrency for uh, September 16th through the 21st. Now this is a very, very special time we have you guys. This is um, full moon video. So here we go. Bitcoin on the 16th we have mercury in conjunct natal uranus and guys this should be pretty good let's see what we get for this Ooh, looking good mercury in conjunct natal uranus of course uranus can sometimes bring some really nice beautiful news and sudden happenings and surprises and that just might be the case um might have some really good news here a lot of talking, a lot of communication, but also a lot of people actually going ahead and making a jump, putting that, putting that money in. It's going to be stimulated. Um, lots going to be going on. A lot of people talking, recognizing Bitcoin, how it's working. Um, and we want to introduce the theme here with this Mercury aspect. Very, very smart. Very, very good mental and especially mental business energy. Okay. So that is again peaking on the 16th with mercury in conjunct natal uranus so on the 17th we actually have the peak of mars square natal pluto now this can possibly be some issues this is a square however um i don't think it's going to be all too all too bad um it might just end up running around in circles here um could I mean this would speak to to more stability or more leveling out maybe the 16th might be a little better than the 17th um, on the 18th we have the start of Mars as the quadrant natal Neptune this is not the best aspect not going to be the strongest aspect either but there's definitely some FUD this is going to basically just this aspect is coming across as just delaying just delaying the inevitable <laughs> again it's like there's so much going on um just again mentally people are very stimulated people are talking people are um throwing around ideas left and right you know it's like really like that just kind of like so many new opportunities all at once and that can be good but it can also be in a way like too much and so it might not be the best day on the 18th just um well not on the 18th but that might not be the best aspect. However, again, it's just starting on the 18th. On the 18th, we actually have um, Mars trine natal Mercury peaking. So this is your more aspect that exemplifies the 18th. Okay, we got the tower. So this is actually supposed to be a good aspect. Um, word is spreading. Word is spreading and there's <laughs> this is about rebellion. This is about rebellion. This is about like everything that's going on. Again, um, in a way, Bitcoin can, and crypto in general can kind of unify both sides of the spectrum here. And, you know, it's like people, again, it, it's big time. People are thinking the world is ending energy, but it's really not. We're starting to build. We're starting to build. And again, there's a big, we know overall, um, you know, if you've been looking at the astrology at all or watching these videos, you know, you know that big changes, big, huge upheavals. And this is the time when they're happening. Okay. This is September. Um, Capricorn does really well in Virgo season. It just in general, but in looking at some of these, again, more specific things, um, what I'm getting is big overcoming energy, big overcoming. This King does not get to where he's at by not working his ass off. Right. This is big 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 it you know again not the not the best days maybe 17th this 18th we might have something going on it's coming it's really coming through as like paul revere energy here too with like the word is spreading far and wide the rally call you know like the again this is rebellion and it's the it's the learning it's the where did the where did the um you know, where does change always happen? It begins within. It begins within our relationships within ourselves. And that's, the word is spreading. Let's just put it that way. The word is spreading. 
we might actually have a really good day on the 18th because of this energy. We have the 10. Um, we start out with the 16th here, maybe 16th, 17th down. I think 18th is going to be good. It's the start of some really maybe, you know, again, there might be some FUD that brings us, tries to start to bring us down, but I don't think that's going to happen until later. The 18th here, again, is word is spreading word is spreading the old powers that be are going down how do we rebuild where do we rebuild and where do we start and bitcoin is exactly where it starts we've never had a currency like this before power to the people let's do this okay and it's happening <laughs> it's about to happen okay so again get in why the getting's good because it's not going to be this good for long. So 19th, we have the start of Sun, Square, Natal, Pluto. This is full moon and this is, mm, okay, it's not the biggest energy with the start of um, the Sun, Square, Natal, Pluto. Just that energy was, is not the, the most green um, that's getting started on this day. Um, but I think it, it's, it's one of those, you know, when it'll help guide us in the right direction in the, in the long run, a little bit more long-term um, bullish energy there as opposed to short-term. But again, that aspect is just starting on the 19th. Don't have really anything peaking on the 19th, but when we get to the 20th, this is where it gets interesting, you guys. The 20th, of course, is our full moon. The 20th is the start of a very big aspect okay prince of cups Ooh, bring him in the new energy the fresh energy um okay so this mercury square natal jupiter like i said big things again we were just talking long-term bullish long-term planning rise 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 every new peak this is going to be a good phase really really good phase that is getting started on the 20th Mercury square natal Jupiter big things in store big long-term energy again. This is peak energy. Okay, we're gonna hit numerous all-time highs Possibly in this time now guys this starts on the 20th and I want you to listen Because a lot of these aspects that we talk about we talk about the start and then we talk about the peak But I said this is a big aspect. This one's not peaking until November 6th so everything I just said about this awesome aspect peaking November 6th lasting through into 2022, I believe. So really, really, really good energy though. Again, great energy that's just getting started. It's like you, it's like that meme I was seeing the other day. Oh, so-and-so didn't get started, you know, didn't get started writing this or doing that till they were 30 or 40 and this and this and that. It's like, that's this energy. You think Bitcoin's old school? You think Bitcoin's like passe? Think again, buddy. Bitcoin is just getting it's just getting warmed up it's just getting started it's getting stretching it out you know flexing it out getting ready for the big race oh it's been getting ready it's been getting ready and it's in it's in its prime it's in its prime ready to strike and strike it will during this time again peaking november 6th great energy there just love 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 it it's bold it's in your face it's growth it's all of this learning coming to this accumulation okay it's going to take us to new peaks new beginnings in itself okay so that is again great aspect love it that it's just getting started on this full moon right awesome not only that we also have the start of another really big aspect again we were just talking about new beginnings about two seconds ago and i just want to mention you know, we, we've talked about this before when you have a lot of aspects in one day even if you think it's going to be negative or positive it usually ends up to being a great a big day i mean it could go either way obviously depending on which you know way all of the aspects go and what's going on elsewhere but I just want to make a note, another really, really huge aspect and broad, widespread aspect just getting started also on the 20th. So again, very big new beginnings coming here. This is uh, North Node Square Natal Venus, and this is peaking the 24th of this year, of December. 
December 24th. So there is this energy of, you know, people who are not meant to be in it are getting out. Noobs and certain people will leave possibly, but the new people that are going to be coming in, it's a new phase. And we actually talked about the same theme with Ethereum in the last video. The, the people that are here are going to be here to stay and they're going to be very passionate. It's going to be overflowing and they're going to be here for the ride and for this fun ride that is that is coming up this fall that this fun ride that is this fall with bitcoin okay so it's going to be great there again some tension some issues but a lot of overcoming energy and again one of the themes from the very beginning overcoming overcoming the fud overcoming the distractions and the the ploys and the tricks and the, oh, you know, Bitcoin does this, Bitcoin does that. You know, all the things that they've tried to say that Bitcoin is going to fail and this and this and that, right? We we know. We, we got it. We got this, right? So, the 20th is also the start of a couple more aspects. We have the start of Sun, Trine, Natal, Mercury. Again, adding to the thinking very, very clearly. Taking them both. Thinking very, very clearly new beginning, turning point, passion is definitely building here through the, there's an understanding that we've been, we're coming to the end of a, of a cycle of learning. And that's why we have this new realizations, eyes are opening, new beginnings, all of the intuition we've talking about pulling people towards, you know, in this age of Aquarius, you know, turning turning the status quo upside down on its head so all the thinking and the the discussion between loved ones here has just gotten to a whole nother level and it's like in this um with all this mercury libra people are able to talk to each other and listen because they're tactful and it's nice so again a lot of relationships are spreading um, Bitcoin, you know, people buying Bitcoin for their honeys and for their families and things like that. So anyway, the, the main theme here is thinking clearly, talking, you know, communication um, and a lot of study, you know, a lot of learning and, and sharing, sharing everything. OK, so I'm actually got so much, guys, um, just in this short little time. I know it's a, it had to be a longer video because it's just a lot of a lot of big energy. Now, let's see. Did we talk about everything for the 20th? No, we did not. We still have one more aspect peaking on the 20th. So all the uh, aspects talking about the 20th so far have just been getting started. So on the 20th, yeah, again, there's kind of this um, dreamer, like idealism, you know, again, may have a lot on your mind, maybe possibly some confusion coming through there. Um, but I think overall should be in the green, although again, might not be super huge, but getting started with all that energy again, it's like buckle up, get ready for something big here. Okay. So on the 21st and again, from the, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of big energy getting started on the 20th. Okay. So the 21st start of Mercury trinatal Venus. So that is like this happy go lucky achievements straight up. Um, yeah, again, talking, you see the two people again, talking to each other. Um, and again, got some idealism coming through there. Got a lot of green here. That's good. Um, 21st is also the start, no, excuse me, the end of Mars trinatal Jupiter. So that's a positive aspect, but again, we've got so much getting started here that, um, you know, don't think that's going to really affect us. Um, let's see the 22nd guys, just very, very quickly. Um, we do have a few aspects. I know this video is only supposed to go to the 21st, but I just can't help it. Yeah. So the 22nd guys sneak peek. If you made it this far, you get your sneak peek. Venus sextile natal sun is uh, peaking. Sun trine natal Jupiter is peaking and sun in conjunct natal Venus. So again, thank you for staying to the end of the video. Give me a like, share, subscribe. If you will, I really appreciate it. As you can see with a, with an eight, I mean, this is a, it really is a number of achievement. And this is gonna be, again, this kind of passionate 
um, it's almost like he's stunned. You know, usually this is, you can read this different ways, but it's like a big success here when you take these other cards into consideration. And of course the aspects, they always come first, right? Um, trying to get like totally lined up here for you guys totally but that's the thing here that's the whole metaphor for this is that it's getting like just getting lined up just right to really really take off and again the start of these energies is absolutely phenomenal it's absolutely like nothing but success accomplishment all these eights all these sevens good luck new opportunities i mean it doesn't get better than this except when it's actually you know like peaking and depending on you know it's just so exciting it's just so exciting so be sure and stick around for more videos we will be coming back with you uh new videos every day hopefully just about every day we'll say it that way if we're going to be on schedule. So thanks for all your support during this year. It's been a little bit crazy. If you've been watching, you know, I've had a ton of stuff going on and hopefully uh, we'll slow down into a nice cozy little money making um, fall and winter here. But yeah, much love, many blessings, take care, and I will talk to you guys so very soon. Peace.